Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Green takes it at the 12, and he's taken down at the 24. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Holiday's big play of building makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you've got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. From their own 24 yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. Screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're going to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Oh, excellent punt. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 47. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Brink gets a ball left side. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gives it left side. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. Brink picks up about four yards on the play. some heat just throws this one away fourth down so the field goal unit is on the field they'll try for three points this to try to put his team up by a field goal the kick is up and he got it the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off Blair fields it at the 11. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Well, if this one is going to keep going like it is, we're going to be in for a heck of a football game. Well, let's hope so. This, this seems to be a very competitive matchup, and right now we're seeing the early dividends of that. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He gets sacked on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Second down and 11. Ball on the 25-yard line. Red 
Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. From their own 47-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down at about the 45. Intercepted. Brought down right around the 48 yard line. Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. First and 10. Ball on the 48 yard line. the middle for a nice game. He airs it out. And it's intercepted. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 24. the middle and he'll lose yardage. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 49 yard line. Well I tell you these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled at the 48. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Well, this corner isn't the biggest guy on the field. But he made a nice tackle there. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. it off as he's hit complete and he tackles him hard at the 13. That makes it first and ten. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Exciting first quarter comes to an end. Three, nothing. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. The running back gets.
It's a yard, maybe less. Here's the eighth play of the series. Long off the left side. He's tackled at the 17. Third down again. Pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. This is for the tie. He gets it up, and he's got it. Rivera has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. That'll make it second and seven. from their own 28-yard line. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it third and three. Makes it out to about the 43. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. He's going to try and scramble. And he's sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 42. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got to change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. to put it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Meade is waiting for the snap. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Holiday comes away with two yards on the carry. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 26-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The defense calls a timeout.
He's to the 40. Nice catch. First down, and he's knocked out. First and ten. Ball on their own 43. Seven yard line. That's good for a game four yards. That makes it second and six. six. Offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Gets to about the 34 yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 48 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Flyers to the wide out, first down. And down he goes at about the 29 yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Complete, he's got room. Tackle made at the 16. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. From the 16-yard line, first down. He gets out to about the eight. And it's almost picked off. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Looking for the corner. He's knocked out of bounds around the two-yard line. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. And he's in there. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A nice seven play, 66 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 10-3. Green takes it to 14. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Holiday's struggles here in the first half seem to have also impacted the entire team, and you would expect that, I guess, Herbie. They're really having a difficult time getting anything going now as we head into halftime. I mean, you hate to put everything on one guy. They just put all the pressure on his shoulders. But in this case, it's clear to me that without him leading the way, that this football team is just lost. And I think the coaching staff has got to be concerned. There's still a whole other second half to be played. But what kind of adjustments can they make to be able to make some changes here to the results here of this football game in the second half? 
He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They're about four yards away here on third down. the 49 yard line the Panthers use their second timeout he zips it out to the left it's knocked away incomplete you know for you young cornerbacks and young defensive backs this is a great example of just being smart and efficient as a defender instead of taking a chance and going for that interception he was smart got in position knocked the football away and didn't give the receiver a chance to make a play on the football he steps out right around the 42 yard line so with a half ending they're just going to try to put three points up on the board the panthers they're going to have to call their third and final timeout Kicks up. No good. He missed it to the left. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. The Panthers lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. He lets it fly. Doesn't get there. A great first half comes to a close. 10 3. Reese David, thanks guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He has some room. The misdirection play gets him four yards. It's second and six. Ball on their own 29. Gains his way to the 39 yard line. Field. Knocked out of bounds around the 47 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Right down, right around the 36 yard line. with a carry. The running back gets two on the carry. That makes it second Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Caught open field. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Back hold after a decent pickup. Six. 
Second and six. Ball on the 18-yard line. The 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Ingram gets about four yards on the counter play. Second down and goal. Six yards to the end zone. This is the 11th play of the current drive. 26 right, 26 right. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, Down. 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 A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this defense played so well in the first half. I was very impressed. I know that. And I couldn't be more impressed with how they carried it over to the third quarter. Well, the most impressive thing is the way they've been able to maintain that into this second half. They played lights out in the first half. They just seem to be getting better as this game goes on. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires it out. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Calls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44 yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. And he adds the extra point. Rivera looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in the third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and, and being able to execute. But so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Up the 
the middle for a nice game. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Tackle at the 33. to about the 34-yard line. Brink only picks up about a yard there on the counter. Meade is the punter. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 17, 10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he's tackled at the 46. That'll make it second and inches. He's at the 40. Gets it out to him again. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 38-yard line, first down. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And down he goes around the 12 yard line. From the 12 yard line, it's first down. Here they come, and he's sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And now he's going to run. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. Less than three minutes in the game. End 
zone. Touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. There's a lot of time left, and I think the important thing for this offense is to get their momentum back and move the ball down the field. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. There's a handoff up the middle and no room to run. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Stop in his tracks with that tackle. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, gave a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. He sails it long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Madison's intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Tackle made right around the 46 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 45. Complete. He's got room. Right down at the 34. That's That'll make it third and Quick throw. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. And here we go. This kicker has a chance to be a hero. The kick is away. And he got it. surprised if they just squib it here. Sends it sailing downfield. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. I don't know if they have the time to go for the win. They've got to be sure to get into the field goal kicker's range and get the game into overtime. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. 
You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Third down and long. And they could really use a big play by their quarterback here this late in the game. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 20-17. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.